I'm digging my bed for my sweet peas. But something people don't really realize is digging soil like this is releasing carbon. So whenever a field is plowed, whenever your garden is turned over the soil, you're releasing carbon. This is what happens. I'm picking up old bits of glass and pottery because my grandfather, my grandfather had uh, glass houses along the southern wall. That sounds like a stone. Yep, there we go. A big old stone. Hey, Pep, how are you? Good boy. See, old Pep's here. I'm doing this digging over before it gets too hot in the day. And my sweet peas are desperate to get planted. So, I would love to do no-till gardening, as it were, which means that no carbon would be released. But I want my sweet peas as well. And I don't want them to be taken over by weeds. So I'm taking out all the root systems of all the other plants that are in this bed, or were, that were weeds. So, see lots of roots. There was a Russian uh, vine that was here and it just took over and was getting involved in the wall, so weakening the structure of the wall. So I um, took it down because I don't want our south facing wall to be to fall. Whoops, there's something for the bucket. I have a bucket that's full of glass and I mean, how a bit of styrofoam got in there, I don't know. So this is where I'm gonna be putting the sweet peas. This is the south facing wall of the garden. That's a buttress to hold it up. Probably built by my grandfather or potentially my great grandfather. But I'm gonna be digging this up and putting a friend of mine, a basket weaver, she is a wonderful thing that I'll plant in there, put in there, place in there, and then plant the sweet pea around it. I think it's almost ready for me to do that. I'm sitting here digging in the garden. <laughs> and these dogs are all lolling around the place. Hanging out. It's a shame of them it loves cuddling up to a dog. And Brindle decided I she'd move. There's Maya. And this is my digging still. So this is my friend, Heike's sweet pea climber. Well, I call it that. You can use it for beans, peas, anything that's a climber. And I got it for sweet peas which I'm gonna be sewing in this bed here. So you put it in with plenty of room around the edges to plant the sweet peas. And I've known Heike now for, oh gosh, could be rising on 25 years. Oh look, another piece of glass. I'm always picking up bits of glass when I'm digging, as well as slate, bits of old pottery, because they used to put the slate and the pottery, the broken pottery from the house, you can see there's more broken, that would be a, a pot for potting plants, that would be a bigger container like a, for a, a bigger pot for plants, that's another one, you can see the edge. But all of those, they would put into their beds to aerate the soil. 
Now we know it just needs lots more organic matter. Anyway, here's my sweet peas. I've got to give them a really good dose of water. This is the water. There's my assistant sitting on the trowel or on my shirt because it's now getting hot. So th this is, yes, I am very late in planting my sweet peas, but a lot of that has to do with I've been really ill for the past 10 days or so. So I'm gonna leave the sweet peas there for a good soak before I plant them around my wonderful Heike sweet pea climber. And as you can see, I still have a very diligent gardening cat who's decided to lie down on the fork as well. I mean, cats do find the most uncomfortable places. I mean, how can you be comfortable with that fork sticking in your back? It's like hugging the board as well. You're such a funny cat. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Anyway, I'm going to plant my sweet peas after I've let them soak for a period of time. <laughs> Pouring the water in, they bubbled. And Inca thinks there's an interesting insect in there. You can see they're already flowering. See, there's blue ones and pink ones, and here's some white ones. So they smell really good. So hopefully, I'm late, but hopefully not too late. What I might do actually is plant some sweet pea seeds just in case. So that'll look really, really nice. Ooh, I'm dripping sweat. And you can see I still have all my assistants. Though some of them are playing with the roots. You're such a funny cat, aren't you? A gardening cat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, poor pep. He's, he's going to lie down there and I'm about to go to get myself a cup of coffee while the sweet peas soak. So, finally, I've planted the sweet peas. If I'd done this two weeks ago, they would be almost to the top. But there's a few of them that are. You can see I've wound them in. There's a beautiful one. And they smell so heavenly. I do love sweet peas. So that job's been done. I love these containers here. These uh, a farmer I know was a black currant farmer and he had loads of those, stacks of them, because he gave up farming black currants. So I went and got those, gosh, this is like 15, 16, 17 years ago. And they're great for soaking potted plants or carrying things around the garden. I love them. And I'm running out of them. They're slowly dying because I dropped them and they crack, but they're really, really good. Hey, Ink, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? She can hear the uh, water I just poured on is percolating. So there's a lovely blue one right there. So hopefully there will be more. Everybody's been helpful. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, that's one job done. Now for the next. I have to think what that is though first.